Hi, this is James Tripp. Welcome to Hypnosis Without Trance. And this is the first video I've put up on the blog for some time. Um, I've been neglecting the blog as I've had other projects on the go. But I've had a question come in and I wanted to send the person who asked this question a video, which I thought that I'd made sometime way back, but I just can't find it. The subject of this is, well, let me read the question, okay? The question is, hi James, I was wondering two things. The first, three, first thing, with trance, can you make someone have lucid dreams every night if they want? And if yes, do you have a script for this? The second thing, I was also wondering if you have any scripts for making somebody uh, be able to photo read with trance and after trance. This would really help me and my family with our studies and work. So this is the question that's come in. Now the stuff around photo reading, um, the stuff around lucid dreaming, I address this directly to the question. I'm not going to deal with that here. The thing that's come up here that I really want to address is this thing about scripts. Because a lot of people ask me this. Do you have a script for this? Do you have a script for that? Do you have a script for... Now I was sure I've made a video on this before, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm going to... I want to share this with you right now. I want to give you this straight. Scripts do not hypnotize people. That's it, full stop. Scripts do not hypnotize people. Hypnotists hypnotize people. Hypnosis is a phenomenon of communication, not just a series of words, communication in full that happens on multiple levels, okay? So it's not just about the words, it's about the choice of words that are specific to that person right now in this moment in time. Okay, it's not just about the words, it's about the non-verbal communication. It's not just about the words, it's about the rhythm of delivery. It's not just about the words, it's about paying attention to the feedback coming from the person you're working with. So, hypnosis, to be able to do hypnosis, you need a certain skill set. It isn't enough to have a script with magic words in and read it to somebody. Now, I'm not saying that that can't work if the script is skillfully read. But nonetheless, you're still taking a stock script and you're trying to apply it to a unique individual at a unique point in time. And this isn't really what hypnosis is about. This isn't really where the skill of, of doing hypnosis lies. So if you're out there, you're interested in hypnosis. I, I, I value scripts on one level. I value scripts as something to study as something to get an idea about how language might be structured, about how suggestions might be structured. And you hear that, how they might be structured. How you structure a suggestion, how you structure a hypnotic communication will depend on what is unfolding in that moment. Okay? So hypnosis, to, to be a great hypnotist, you want to develop a fantastic understanding of hypnosis and how it works number one, and also a complementary skill set that enables you to facilitate shifts in people's minds in real time, shifts in people's experience in real time. You want to be paying attention to timing, to tempo, uh, to feedback coming from uh, the, the person you're working with, all of this kind of stuff. So, you know, that's, that's it on a plate. I know it may be tempting to look for shortcuts. It may be tempting to look for uh, magic fixes, if we could just get this magic manuscript and read it. But that isn't where the skill lies. And do you know what? If it was where the skill lies, everybody would be doing it. Everybody would be able to, to be a fantastic hypnotist. But actually, very few people really reach high levels in this game. And the ones who do are the ones who study, and the ones who study the game of hypnosis deeply, the skill set of hypnosis deeply, the understanding set of hypnosis deeply. So don't look for scripts to fix you up as a hypnotist. Deepen your understanding, deepen your skill set, and that's the thing that's going to make the difference for you. Now, referencing this skill set, I'm going to point out that I have a training coming up, which is the Hypnosis Skills Boot Camp. It's the only workshop on hypnosis that I run these days. My old workshops I don't run. And there's a reason I run the Hypnosis Skills Bootcamp is because this is the one area I see people letting themselves down. You can get knowledge about hypnosis from all sorts of places, from, uh, from the internet, from books, from videos, all sorts of stuff. But the actual skills 
of doing hypnosis and doing hypnosis well. They only come from one place and that comes from drilling it, drilling those skills into your system. So the Hypnosis Skills Boot Camp is a weekend, it's a, it's a fantastically fun weekend, but it's a deeply, um, it's a transformative weekend in terms of the skills that you will be acquiring as a hypnotist. And it's all about drilling. It's all about breaking hypnosis down into individual bits so you can work on timing, you can work on tempo, you can chunk it down and into the tiny building blocks so you can create any inductions you want, you can create any experiences you want on the fly in real time for the person that you're working with because you have the skill sets within you. This is what the Hypnosis Skills Bootcamp is about. You can check this one, it's coming up on the 21st and 22nd of March 2015, not long to run now. Uh, there's still some places left, it's in Letchworth Garden City, it's at my offices, Trip HQ if you like, it's at my offices and training facility. So come along, come and visit, you can see where I work with clients and stuff as well, you get a bit of an insight into my business too. So I'd love to have you come along, visit me in Letchworth Garden City, just outside London, 21st and 22nd of March. 2015 for the Hypnosis Skills Boot Camp. Okay, take care of yourself. Until then, keep working on your skills and your understanding. And yep, by all means, study those scripts, but don't see them as being about doing hypnosis, just as something that might be useful for you in learning hypnosis.